Hi everyone, and this is my kinda good survivor guide to Rust. Uh, yeah, here we go. So number one, you are gonna be spawned naked on a beach and you're gonna have nothing but a torch and a rock. Now if it's night, don't turn your torch on because people will find you and they will kill you. So your best bet is just keeping that shit away. Otherwise you're gonna get an absolute ass pounded by the first person who sees you and they're a bit complete dick about it. Number two, you are gonna need to get some stuff. The main aim of Rust is to find stuff, so wood, rocks, cloth, and pretty much just make a lifestyle on it. It's pretty easy trying to find it, but you'll find harder things, so cloth is quite hard to find unless you can kill animals, but killing animals is quite hard to do. So you'll find wood in, in the forest, you're gonna find rocks in the flatland, and cloth you can find from these hemp plants, and hemp plants tend to spawn in the forest, and it's pretty good, so I take advantage of that. Number three, you're going to need to make yourself a sleeping bag. Sleeping bags are really essential in Rust because they are what you're going to use to get back to where you were. Now, Rust is a big place and there's no cars, there's planes, but you can never get in them. Anyways, I'd put it somewhere nice and secure and name them. Naming them's the best thing, especially if you have multiple sleeping bags. Name them so you know which one you're going back to and also make plenty of them because you're going to die a lot. Number four, you need to get a stone hatchet. Stone hatchets are pretty easy to make. Um, but yeah, it's going to be really essential to your development in the actual game. You need it so you can get more stuff and real resources quicker and also in larger quantities, so get that. Number five, make paper. That's pretty much it. Can't really go much more into that. Number six, get a building plan from that paper. That is going to be essential to your base building in this game. You need it so you can start to make your little shitey base. Uh, and basically start to uh, develop further in the game. It's not that hard to do, just get a couple of things and then just build a little shitey hut that you can call your own. Number seven, you're gonna wanna make yourself a hammer so you can actually start to reinforce your buildings with a variety of options, so wood, stone, sheet metal are armored and that'll be perfect. Now number eight, you need to build a tool cupboard to stop any motherfucker from building next to you. This is incredible to your success in this game. Put it in the corner, put it somewhere safe, name it, but authorise it. Authorise it and you're the only bugger that can build in that area and you're going to be safe and secure from anyone raiding. Number nine, you want to make yourself a lock. This is important so you can keep all of those bastards out because they're literally going to come to your house, try and get in and try and mess you up because that's how the game works. So build it, make your lock, put it on your door, do whatever, but put it on your door and lock it. Now, number ten, make yourself a fucking spare key. Do not leave that fucking house or make another fucking spare key because you will not understand how hard it is to get back into it without it. Now, make yourself a wooden spear. Wooden spears are the shit. Oh, fuck. So wooden spears are actually amazing because even though they're quite hard to hit anything with them, they're great for hunting animals, they're great for you getting cloth, getting meat, but yeah, I'm finding them quite difficult to use at the moment unless I'm in point blank range. But they're also pretty cool. They're pretty nice ways you can use this. Surprise, motherfucker. He was being a dick anyways. He was taking out my house. So, yeah, I died. Number 12, you want to make yourself a campfire. Campfires are great because they provide warmth for your comfort so you can get more health. And also that you can actually cook meat on them. And when you cook meat on them, you can actually gain more health back. So if you look in the bottom right hand corner, once I eat some meat, brilliant. I am going to gain some health and also my hunger is going to go down. So I'm going to develop in both ways. Helpful tip number one, this is essential. Don't be an asshole. If you're an asshole, people are going to hate you. And if people hate you, you're not going to do very well. This also links into making friends. Making friends are the best way to gain resources, get better protection, and also have a better general feeling of the game. But this kind of links down to number one. Don't be an asshole. If you're an asshole, you're not really going to do too well. And being an asshole, even though it's pretty fun, you're still going to get punished for it. So, yeah, make some friends, but also try not to be an asshole at the same time, because people are going to want to try and kill you. They're going to try and raid your base and do anything they can to kill you, because once you start being a dick, they're going to be a dick back, and that's not fun. And help with tip number three, just make a storage box for items. It's great, and you keep spare keys in there. Cheers guys for watching, that's my survival guide. Here's some might takes from what I actually experienced when making this video. <laughs> Hey dude, I'm friendly, yes? Please don't attack. I'm making an army naked, do you wanna go?
What, as in like you're gonna be my slave master? <laughs> yeah. Number seven, you wanna make yourself a hammer. Hammers are really good for the development. <laughs> Number twelve, make yourself a campfire and cook some food. Because food is essential to this game. Also, with a campfire you can get warmth which will increase- Oh my god, why do you have to text? I'M RECORDING!